this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your categories at the beginning of the school year. To start, we're on the home page, and we're going to go to the third tab called Gradebook, and I'm simply mousing over that. I'm not clicking yet. Go to Setup, and then click. Initially, the Categories tab is where we're going to land. Once these are set up, when you hit on Setup again, it's going to take you automatically to the Assignment tab. So our Frisco policy is that we set daily, minor, and major categories. So we'll start with daily. And under weight, type in 20. The next column says drop lowest. The way drop lowest works is it will drop the lowest grade in this category for this marking period. Um, be careful if your campus chooses to use this option because once you turn it on, it needs to stay on for the entire year which means it will drop the lowest grade uh, at the beginning of the second marking period and then at the beginning of the third marking period. So if you decide to turn this on, if that's okay with your campus, make sure you leave it on for the entire year. At my campus, I, I encourage my teachers not to use this option. The next column is marking periods. Please do not check any boxes in this column. The final column has two choices. Exclude missing scores from the average or missing scores count as zero in the average. I encourage everyone to choose the first option. Exclude missing scores from the average. What this does is on the day that you have a test, it will, and you haven't typed anything in yet, it will just ignore that value in the average. If you choose the second option, missing scores count as zero, as soon as the test day comes, all the scores are going to count as zero even though you haven't entered a score yet. So I encourage you to stick with the first one. And then when you're done, come to the end of the line and click Submit. Now to get to the next line, you need to come up here in the far right and click on this uh, little gray and white button with a plus. You can see it populates the next line. I want you to go ahead and grab Minor, M-I-N. And for Weight, we're going to put in 30. Again, leaving everything else the same and hit Submit. Click on the gray and white button again. Our last one is major. Pick 50. Leave everything else the same. Click submit. Now at this point, you have a 20, 50, 30 for your daily major and minor. And these are the, the uh, category values that you should be setting up. Now what we're going to do is we are going to copy these to your additional classes. To copy these, you're going to come up here to this other icon that looks like two pieces of paper. Go ahead and click on that. And this copy screen, well, let's take it a second to load. In this copy screen, it's going to look very similar to what you've seen in the past. You're going to see the class that you're on. What am I copying? I'm copying um, to all my marking periods, or just leave your marking periods blank. It'll be fine and come down here, and I'm going to select all of the classes. If you're copying grades, you need to be careful of that. Oh, sorry, not going to select the conference periods. Excuse me. And scroll down. There we go. I've got all my classes selected. For this, I really don't care if I select a class more than once. It's not going to mess it up like if you do it with assignments. And then I'm going to select, I'm copying my daily major and minor, and finally hit copy. And it says, this has been successfully completed, so I click OK. Now notice, it automatically switched me to the Assignments tab. I can go back to the Categories tab and look to see that they're all there. If I want to check all of my classes, come up here to this line and at the end click Change. And you can select a different class or a different marking period if you would like. I'm going to select OK. And I can go back and say, oh, it defaulted to my assignments again, but I really want to see my categories. And look, they're all there. If you have any questions about this process, please speak to your technology facilitators.